on my Facebook. Oh, it's Beth. You know. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? I just named this V. Hi guys. So today I'm going to be doing a haul video. Um, I'm doing a Jane Asher haul. For some of you who don't know, she's known as the Queen of Cakes and she makes some really good baking things. And a lot of it was on sale, so I bought a lot of it and thought, let's do a haul. Why not? Let's begin. The thing I want to show you guys is this. It's a loaf tin. It's not actually Jane Asher, it's Kitchen Corner, aka Poundland. I want to make a cake for a baking video on going up the day after you guys are watching this. So, mm -hmm, this is going to come in handy. By the way guys, some of the Jane Asher stuff, not all of them, there's about five, four or five, that have recipes attached to them. I will write out the recipes. And I also bought a book, so I'm going to flick to three random pages and I'll write out those three recipes in the description as well. Okay guys, the next thing I want to show you are these. Yep. That, that way, that way works. Um, they are silicone cake pop moulds. I do actually have a cake pop maker where you put the batter in, but it does get really hot and I burn myself. And um, it's just a bit fiddly and they just don't come out well because the candy melts don't like to stick. So I thought, try these, these here, and yeah, they'll work. You're probably wondering why I bought two. That's because I bought something I'm going to show you guys in a minute and it holds 12. It's cake pop holder, really. And it holds 12, so I thought... If I buy two, I could do it all in one go instead of having to like empty one, wash it, and then redo it. I wanted to show you my cake pop holder. How cool, right? And then you can put like a brolly or something. Oh my god, I should not be allowed near things like this. You can put a brolly or, um, not brolly, like, you can just a massive brolly through the middle of that. You can put like something decorative through the middle. Like, my mum has these really cool things where you put them through the middle or to the side and it goes up like a little umbrella to stop out any flies or anything going on the food so I think I might put that through the middle and they can just go over and a couple of recipes came with these with the holder came a recipe for orange cake pops which I'll write out and then with the um, makers where you put them in the oven they came with vanilla cake pops so I'll write that out as well the next thing I want to show you guys is this which I think is super cool it's you know when like you want to create something like chocolate on top of something or you want to you have to get like a zest of a lemon or a lime or something like that well it's always really fiddly to try and do it with a massive grater so you can have a special bacon one they did sell these with larger holes but i thought you can always add more but you know if you want to put it on top of a cake like something it's not really going to look very nice with big chunks so yeah and the recipe that came with that was egg custard tart <laughs> Then I'll write that in the description anyway. Hey okay guys, now um, these are things I bought next. These are um, millilitres and an eighth of a teaspoon all the way to a tablespoon. There's like dessert spoons and things in here. And this is really handy because I never know how much is proper teaspoon because we have a lot of different sized teaspoons in our house. And these... These are used for US cups and millilitres on a larger scale and um, I made a recipe once when I was about nine and I never heard of cups before and I just thought it meant cups, you know, it's like a random cup at the shelf. No, my muffins did not taste nice, nine-year-old Michaela. Do not use a massive mug as a cup because it's not the right thing. And a side note, when I was about 10, I'm in cakes, and I used the same bowl to do the icing, and then um, I didn't wash the washing up liquid out of it properly, and um, yeah, my mum was like, oh, these are nice, and we took a bite into them, and then we just like put them in our mouths, we were just like, oh, yeah, washing up cakes. But now I'm older, I know not to do that. Okay, my next thing is this. How cool is this? It's a cake slice. I know what you're all thinking, a cake slice. It has a serrated edge and a flat edge so you can go ch, ch or ch, ch and then you just pick it up put it on your plate. How cool right? And um, yeah, nice. The recipe that came with this is cherry cake. Now there's a cherry cake this one and there's cherry cake in the book I bought. Now I don't know whether they're the same but if they're the same I'll write same by here afterwards I figured out. If they're not, I'll write not same by here. 
after I figured out. Hey guys, my next thing are these. They are twin edge cookie cutters in a range of sizes. Now, I forgot to show you guys, but on the um, spoons and cups, they are actually a clip which lets you take off the one you want to make it easier. Like, obviously with these, because they'd be really hard to cut with them. And they're very cool because they come in a range of different sizes and it's a flat edge for like plain biscuits and a nice pretty edge for a makeup look all nice. And as you can see, the sizes do range a lot. Big difference. Okay, and um, the recipe is rich chocolate biscuits. These look so so good they look really easy to make as well so i'll leave this one in the description okay guys the last thing i want to show you guys is this now i said guys a lot in that sentence it is a jane asher's beautiful baking book and it's really good there's a section for bakes and ices ices i find really helpful because i've been looking for an american frosting recipe for so long but i couldn't find one that's good and it's in here because she's american also where did you know they call cake pops pop cakes i was like what but they did okay guys okay guys the first recipe is malted fruit loaf uh, I'll write down in the description, obviously. Okay, guys, this next thing looks really good. It's triple chocolate squidgy chocolate cake. <sighs> How good does that look? And the last thing is foolproof meringues. So I'll put four in the description. Oh my god, guys, I've tortured my poor book. Honestly, it's all bent. Oops. I'm sorry, Jane Asher. Guys, this is it for this video. I'm so sorry for the lack of videos lately, but YouTube has been having some serious process issues, and my clever laptop deleted five pre recorded videos I recorded like two weeks ago. Oh, well done, laptop. And um, the gaming series will be starting up again, but after my laptop deleted two gaming videos, the story doesn't make sense. So I'm trying to find a way to make, to find, ugh. how should I put this? I'm trying to find a way to tell you guys the story. Like, I'm trying to remember what happened, because she's met someone. They're not like a boyfriend or girlfriend or anything yet, but they're just kind of like, so yeah. So, um, I will see you guys. Oh, um, yeah, there's two videos this week. One on Saturday and one, which is today, when you're watching this. And then when there'll be one on Sunday, which will be a baking video. Because I'm really sorry. Because it's just been not good with the videos lately. So I decided to put two up to apologise. So my Twitter and my Instagram are in the description. As well as, um, the link to the Jane Asher website. Because all this stuff is just, there's just so much on there. And, um, yeah, I'll leave all the recipes I showed in the description. Bye!